Hi everyone, this is Deborah. Today we're going to talk about how you deal with a narcissist. And that means you don't deal with them. That makes them extremely mad. You go gray rock. See, the narcissist feeds off of your reactions. That's what makes them uh, get off, if you might say, when they push your buttons. This is, uh, you have to learn this new behavior and that is do not react. Just have a poker face as Lady Gaga says. Don't give them ammunition. There's, you can't win an argument with them because in their mind, they're always right, correct? You just let it go off your shoulder. So that is how they have control over you. That is, that is, that's been their game since day one. They love to control you. And the minute you don't let them have that control over your feelings and your thoughts or the gaslighting, you're going to be the winner. So don't react. And I know that's hard. Uh, and you're going to have to practice this, I'm sure. So, um, and this is another thing that a lot of people have been hurt and traumatized by narcissists. That is, you don't get closure. I know you, you think you deserve closure. A narcissist is never going to say they're sorry or that they've ruined your life. You're never going to get the closure. The only way to get the closure is within your own self and your higher power. Uh, and I know it's not fair. I believe me, I've lived this. You're never going to get that satisfaction. You should just get it within yourself. Oh, I got away from this. I got away from this person. Oh my God. That should be the fact that you're living your own best life and that you are practicing self care. Self-care is the number one thing that you need to do when you've been traumatized or you're suffering from PTSD. Get yourself to the doctor. Get your blood pressure taken. Get your cholesterol taken. When I left my narcissist, I was I was at death's door. I was, I was on the verge of having a stroke. My blood pressure was always teetering over 200, over 100. My cholesterol was 354. I had chronic migraines. I could get out of I couldn't get out of bed for three days at a time. When you're not living your life the way that you uh, imagined it when you were a teenager, that's a big red flag. And if you are waiting for the narcissist to change, I waited a long time. I mean, a long time. And they don't change. They will promise you. That's cut. That's called the. Um, Oh, it's, it's a wheel. I'll put a picture of this at the end of this video. It's the chronic abuse wheel, I call it. When I first saw this, I go, oh my God, it explained the honeymoon period. It explained the, their vicious cycle where they'll apologize and then they'll go right back to that same behavior. It is mind boggling. And they're going to make you think nobody likes you. Uh, oh, you'll never get anybody like me. No, honey, I wouldn't want anybody like you, right? So uh, take a look, uh, take time to look at this wheel and see if you can relate to any of it. But self-care is when you start putting yourself first. When you start taking care of your mental and physical issues. So I hope this has helped a lot of you guys and girls. All right.